hello welcome back to the channel for those of you who are new remember to hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell thank you so much for your shares likes, subscribes really appreciate it we're doing a reading today someone messaged and wants to know about the current energies and the solstice energy and what's going on everybody's saying there's a lot going on for them so we'll talk about that um, the solstice energy is the 18th to the 24th of June. Now, solstice energy are where we are. It's winter solstice. On the other side of the world, it's the opposite. Um, the sun is and the solstice energy is moving into cancer. So we're going out of air into watery cancer. So we'll talk about that. But the a solstice energy is a beautiful energy where the universal grid actually go gets to a point like a pinnacle point and it actually raises the vibration and the energy grid and um, of the planet and moves upward into a higher frequency into a, a harmonious frequency so it's a really beautiful energy it's such a beautiful energy for healing um, being in cancer it's about nature connecting with nature connecting with the feminine the goddess um, within which is the intuition so everything right now is about healing and with your intuition so using your intuition okay it's also a time where the veils are thinner so between the dimensions because of the raising of the frequency so um, getting in touch with your spirit guides archangels angels is, is a really good time um, but we must stay grounded and connected in that earth energy so it's a very pure energy now when I give this energy I'm only giving it to those who use that for pure purity meaning um, in a purified way it's about your healing it's not about you a lot of people utilize this energy and these times solstices new moons full moons to um, you know do ceremonies where they're manifesting and conjuring and calling in that is not what it's used for solstice energy is to be respected it's about harmony and harmonizing and and why people do ceremony work at this time is to utilize the the higher frequency um so just remember it's about healing you and, and cancer represents self-nourishment. This is going to bring in an energy of standing up for yourself, um, your desires, being your biggest champion, your biggest um, rooting for yourself, okay? Um, and, and going very inward and doing your intuitive work and your healing work, all right? It's about settling and stabilizing and trusting and flowing. That's the, that's the feminine energy that you need to be in around this solstice. So please only utilizing that energy for the highest good of all, meaning get in touch with nature. Nature is going to be talking. Some of you are nature people. You might see a bird, you might see a lizard, you might see <clears throat> a, a snake, a this or that, wherever you are, a kangaroo. Um, wherever you are, everything's symbolic and you're either in touch with that or you're not. Um, but if you are that type of person, I mean, this is a beautiful energy to go in and do some deep self-healing. So utilize those high frequencies for deep self inner healing, not doing ceremonies for, um, you know, empowerment and conjure and trying to manipulate energies and call forth energies and entities I mean people do it people do do it and trust me a lot of people don't believe that but I've literally had clients that work in the dark work with the dark they end up coming to me saying we've got ourselves in a situation how do we get out of it this is what we were doing there are people that seriously practice this the the dark side of this and that is not what we're about <clears throat> on this channel so 
um yeah it's it's really really beautiful so i just wanted to bring that in so cancer is going to be watery emotional now we had the gemini new moon this is where people will be finding the um feeling lost confused maybe a little erratic jumping grass is always greener type energy within their decisions I'm not even getting grasses even, even always greener. I'm kind of getting this um, caught between two worlds or two decisions or two this. Think of Gemini as the twins. So what that energy brought in for people, which is where I think the confusion is, is reality checks, wake up calls, uncertainty is probably the best word to use new discoveries so new things being presented and illuminated to you it is moving you into the new chapter right on the solstice energy to raise your vibration the grid vibration your your um your programming your journey your path your contracts um and into a higher consciousness of the soul growth okay that's what's going on and when people are in that they do feel confused they do you know they're not the old they're not the new they're in the eye of the storm right in the middle um you might be with the gemini wanting to have those conversations you could not have <clears throat> or that you've avoided so gemini will bring this out gemini likes to the confusion can come um they want all the information, they get all the information, they're weighing the pros and cons, you know, it's it's not decision-making energy, it's gathering, 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 but they can gather too much information. They can just keep gathering and gathering and gathering. And I think the energy coming in um, is sort of saying it's time, this is an opportunity to tie up those lo loose ends, make some decisions with your intuition, um, with the solstice energy, in this Gemini energy is trying to um, it, not ex expose everything, present everything. It's not like you've got all the evidence now. What are you going to do with it? You've got all the information. We've given you. We've shown you. And what what is the truth is your intuition. Go with your intuition. There is a big opportunity to tie things up, do forgiveness, have those conversations and set a new story for yourself and to clear and balance the karmic scales. See the Gemini, the karmic scales. I know it's not scales, that's Libra, but you think of Gemini. Do I go here? Do I go there? Do I want this path? Do I want that path? Am I this person? Am I that person? So I think you're going to be able to go in and really stand up for yourself and you're actually actually going to realize your desires in the next few coming months and they're going to be so soulful and part of your soul growth that you will be pulled whether what your head's saying your soul growth will pull you forward um, although the path may not be clear with the Gemini energy the new moon and the universe You've got to have some trust in that, okay, and in divine timing and divine direction, all right? So anything that's pulling you this way and you're trying to pull the other way, I can tell you now that's divine intervention. And we have to really um, trust that and go with it. And that's where the faith and the surrender come in, okay? So a lot of people in Gemini energy, it's very fast, make a decision. This is what we're doing. I want to know. I need the information. Give it to me. Give me the answer. And it's very fast energy, all right? And they're jumping, jumping. It's, it, this solstice energy is going to really pull you down into spending time within yourself truly and deeply um, contemplating. And, and your intuition is trying to uh, connect you into a settledness of who you are. Not our lessons, not our this, not our karmic paths, not our karmics. It's really trying to stabilize you out of this emotional energy that's just fallen out the moon card lots of emotions this is watery cancer pisces energy but really watery lots of water lots of emotion lots of unknown lots of options choices and that can be you know how do i bring it into reality all of this or where i'm going or what i'm wanting or my path well you don't 
You don't. You surrender and, and go with the flow of the universe. Go with where the universe is trying to direct you. Too many people want to know. And, and that's cool. We do need confirmation within ourselves of where I'm going, what I'm doing, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. But if, when you're stepping into true divine higher alignment, some of it into your north node, this is a path and a contract at a vibrational level that you have not reached, matched or have any knowing in. So you're going through that transformation. And on top of that, you, um, it is new. It is the unknown. There are no steps ahead. You're making them up. Spirit said you're creating them as you go. You're creating them. So it is the unknown, it is the uncomfortable, it is the unfamiliar. You're supposed to step and just hope another, and, and not hope, sorry, cancel that spirit, so create the next step because you're actually not, you are creating it, but you're creating it with the universe. So what you're wanting, what people want is, give me a map and show me A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That is the old, that is the old paradigm we're in quantum. You're creating it as you go and as you're stepping on those stepping stones, okay? Um, so you're going to feel like this and that's scary. We're not used to living in that energy. That is scary, scary energy because <clears throat> unless you're very mutable, very flexible, very changeable, very aware of this and, and happy to go on that roller coaster ride, you are anyway. But stop trying to grasp the, the answer so you feel safe. It's about feeling safe in the unknown and moving and growing and cultivating in that. And the only way you can do that is by grounding and knowing who you truly are. Because when you know who you truly are and, you're in, and then you get in true alignment. You can't get in alignment with your highest and best path. People are sitting there meditating <clears throat> to get in alignment. But if they haven't done the who am I and really connected into this is who I am and I defend that and I root for myself and I'm my biggest champion and I sit in my desires and I'm standing up for myself and my who I truly am as a being and my gifts and my talents and my path, you will not get in and you can face truth accountability um, that's the hard stuff that's when you get in true alignment when you can hold yourself accountable when you can say no to people when you can stand up for people when you're not a people pleaser when you're not doing something to make other people happy that's what true alignment is and look at the abundance, see, putting in the work. Spirit wants you to, the manifesting, the new beginnings are happening. They want you to put in the work now. And that is stable, grounded, practical work. Knowing, this, the King of Pentacles knows who he is. The Queen of Pentacles know who they are. And they put in the work and they do the work and they take the steps. They build. Yes, yeah, see, wish fulfillment's coming for you guys. Things will be, and the world card. Now, I actually saw this this morning before I woke up. The world card and spirit showed me. I don't know if you can see it on there. All of the energy. Look at the energy around her feet. Look at the energy around this card. This is you. She's about to take a step. Create, see that circle? Imagine that's a step. Another step, creating another step. Okay, so this energy is going on. This is resetting your energy, resetting your paradigm, resetting your frequency, harmonizing it, and then we step forward. This is all energy into the new and creating a new cycle. See, wish fulfillment are my desires. The universe wants to bring this to you. Um, healing. The, you, you know, ideas ideas and, and you are going to be shown the evidence of where you are blocked or who's blocking you or what's blocking you and that is tangible evidence in whatever form that is for whoever the confidence is see this confidently going forward this is spirit saying you have to go forward like you've already won the race 
all you have to go forward like you've already won the victory the battle the the contract the the i don't know this is victory this isn't finding victory this is i'm victorious already and moving into the unknown this is the spiritual journey this is going in deeply being confident in who you are and what you want then the collaboration comes in then the peace and contentment and happiness and connectedness and all everything making sense and aligning and then we have the new beginning see we have the messages texts emails collaboration through spirit sending you these messages and connections for your new beginning and putting an end to any deceit deception trickery false false evidence appearing real anyone being false anywhere someone's pulled the wool over your eyes you've done that to yourself you've self-sabotaged anyone getting away with anything you can do that to yourself you can get away with a lie with yourself and the temperance angel is coming in and the energy frequency is passionate it's emotional here it's fast because temperance comes in and balances the elements within you that's what a solstice does that's what the harmony is the solstice energy harmony balances elements what does the temperance angel do balances energy for the next natural cycle to occur it's like um, when you plant a tree or you grow something there is natural growth cycles that happen harmoniously through nature that's what we've got here that's what this emotion is supposed to be pushing you forward into okay <clears throat> see forward beyond your current experiences your current horizons your current beliefs your current situation it's saying whatever the confusion move can we not make it up move forward it's a yes I don't care if it's a new job, new place, new this, new partner, new person. New, move forward. Move. Move forward. See this energy? <clears throat> this is page energy, disappointment, regret, being let down. But it's a very heavy, negative, emotional energy. And it's, I want to know. I need to know. I need pages don't know what they're doing, where they're going. And this is showing me here that you want to know. So you don't have to feel an emotion. Doesn't work like that. Spiritual growth doesn't work like that. It's good to have validation, clarification and confidence and, and get that. But, you, you know, knowing so you don't have to feel an emotion is not spiritual growth. That is not getting in your true alignment. And um, you can get direction clarification validation on a path direction that does help we're not saying that doesn't help that's why we bring this information but it's like spirit saying you're doing it because of this so we won't give you the answers you can go and seek them we're not going to give them to this because you're just trying to avoid an emotion you're just trying to avoid the steps you're just trying to avoid the conversations. You're just trying to avoid, avoid, avoid. Mm, don't want to face it. Yep. It's your lower toxic shadow side. It's, it's, or you're around this, or you've got to face this. You know, it could be scary. It's scary. We're not judging you. We're, we're saying, we're giving you the truth. We're de spirits that we're delivering the truth. Lower toxic this could be where you've got addictions, whether they're beliefs or actual addictions, addictions to ways. Um, how many people don't like changing the way they do things or the way they want it to happen? And Spirit says, you're not working with us when you're in that. You're not going to get in alignment. You're controlling it. You, you, you're codependent in this program, belief, emotion, not being disrupted so that you feel so and you think you're going to get into alignment and spiritual growth and spiritual manifestation and spiritual connection. That's not how it works. Or if you're tied to that or have to face that, it's, it's time. You've got the information. They've given you trust your intuition. 
Now, what is spiritual growth? If it's not that, if it's not avoiding emotions, avoiding the toxic, the hard, the, the problem where, uh, where you're toxic, where they're toxic, where the toxicity, the codependence, the I don't want to face it, I don't want to do it, the denial, the addictions, whatever. That's what you're trying to avoid here. You want the new, I get this all the time, people want the new start, they don't want to do the work and they don't want the changes that come with that. They want this to come into reality. Sorry, the, you know, the, bring into reality this, their wish fulfillment and new start, but they don't want to face any of this. Yeah. Wounded warrior, time to put the, the past behind you. Uh, trust your intuition. Queen of Cups, see? Baby steps, just do baby steps. But... Um, for some of you, you know, what is the spiritual path about spirit? That's a good question. Let's ask that. We might need the other debt, they said. Um, let's get an answer. The spiritual path <laughs> is facing the truth. No fear. This is fear. Divine time. Like, mm, let's get a couple more cards. Yeah, yeah, I cannot make it. See, um, fear, blockage, where you don't want to see, where you don't want to face, what you don't want to do. Spiritual journey is facing adversity, being a warrior, being a warrioress, standing up, going to war, going to battle, forging forward, which is the, here, yeah, forging forward to your new, you know, um, and everything illuminated, everything cleared. Sun is about truth. And what's merging with this solstice is the truth, exposure of the truth of your true feelings. Maybe your true nature's coming out. Maybe it's, it's illuminating to you. You know, maybe you're healing. Maybe you've healed um, and, and seeing beyond this blockage or who's blocking or what's blocking or why you're blocked or fearful, you know. That's what true healing is. Yeah, emperor. Look, secure foundations. The emperor is about making a ruling, making a decision. The emperor knows, emperor and empress, know who they are. They follow through. They make a decision. They know who they are so much. They make a decision, they do it, and they follow through. And that's one thing um, here. <clears throat> you know, they... they, they Say they say as they do, and they do as they say, where however that saying goes. And a lot of people cannot do that. If I say I'm gonna do something, I can tell you I'm doing it. If I'm gonna follow through to I will throw follow through to the end. That's just personality, who I am, where I'm at. I don't say I'm gonna do something and not do it. And the one thing it's to be around that energy. See, that's standing in your truth and being around people who do that. See, I don't, and we're not saying you can't change your mind or, you know, say, hey, I don't want to do this anymore or whatever. You're allowed to do that. That's standing in your truth. That's being an emperor. Doesn't mean you have to follow through on everything. It means. You, even if you don't want to, you say it, you do it, you speak it, you stand up, you face the adversity. You say, hey, sorry about that, I don't want to do this anymore and this is why, and you deal with it and you face it. Not run, hide, cheat, steal, betray, trick, lie, manipulate. Everyone's allowed to change, change their mind, direction, this and that. It's the way you do it. You either do it in emperor energy, empress energy, follow through direct, clear, or you hide. You hide. <clears throat> you lie. You cheat. You, you steal. You can't face. You ignore. You um. What do people do now? Ghost. Um. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> they ghost and they um. Avoid. Very avoidant very go into a um i don't want to say a selfishness like a a self entitlement or you know what well, i needed to reflect type energy but you know that's fine but tell the person that respond deal don't go into avoidance this is total avoidance and, and that's what true spirituality is. 
True spiritual people are not walking around being spiritual, um, loving the earth and the plants and the trees and, and all of that and, and skipping through life, <clears throat> avoiding and, and not doing their deep emotional work. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> Throat's closing over. Someone clearly doesn't like what I'm saying. It's not just a cough. I can feel my <clears throat> throat. So we've got the sword of truth here. So it's not about skipping through life and being spiritual and wonderful. It's about facing reality, the real, facing adversity, standing up, speaking, following through, speaking the truth to yourself so that you can speak it to others in a lovely, beautiful, harmonious way. That's being in true connection with nature and cycles and yourself. You're, you're a part of that. You're, you are nature. You are a part of that. Um, we have the King of Cups here. We have, you know, sitting and looking at what could go wrong or what did go wrong, or, but you're not looking at these other cups. We have balance and harmony here, the Two of Cups and the Sword of Truth. Here's the sword of truth. The universe is putting us into higher unions, paths, um, sorry, higher unions, paths, journeys, connections, contracts, blueprints, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to do them all. That is the sword of truth. And the sword of truth here on this is you need to get real. And spirit's going to help you get real and see so you can get in this. That's all it's for, so you can get in that, okay? Because we're all wanting, every single person on this planet wants spiritual love and connection in the Two of Cups. Every single man and woman on some level Male, female, whoever, whatever, wants this, whether it's in their job, their career, their relationships, their love life, the whole thing. You do not get this until you can be this. In truth. Not your truth, not excuses, the black and white truth, the fact. I did not follow through. I did not do this. I am not wanting to face this emotion. I am not wanting to face this person. That's truth. Then you go into a beautiful, harmonious energy, inwardly and outwardly, and so do the people. And then everything goes into harmonious alignment. Because nobody has to live a lie or fake or an untruth or in, a, or in an emotional turmoil they don't want to live in. That's, I'm just giving you an example as how to get out of it, how, to, how it works, how to, how to deal with it. And <clears throat> I can say honestly now, you know, with the, the 30 plus more years experience because I've been spiritually um, in tune with spirit since I was four, um, three or four years of age, younger, but that's, just, you know, that's when everybody actually knew I was. Um, <clears throat> the evidence was there. Um, I forgot what was, no, I didn't forget. It's just, I went into something. Sorry about that. Um, I can honestly say the most spiritual people, the most people who understand spirituality have been through life experience and learn quite harshly, traumatic. And I know people are like, oh, you don't have to learn through trauma and, and, and things like that. No, you don't. But I can tell you now, if I put you in adversity, if I put you up in the mountains to survive, my gosh, you'll have some spiritual experiences. 
doesn't happen in a comfort zone, out of a book, where it's wonderful information, wonderful information to be book smart, information smart, in, uh, and get as much information as possible. Absolutely, you will sound smart. You will, you will know a lot of answers, and we should. The you know, information out there helps people grow, helps people expand, helps people learn. But that is not the spiritual person I would um, <clears throat> personally go to. I would go to someone with life experience who does what they say, say walk their talk, have been through adversities, harshness, their traumas, and come out the other side and um, have wisdom and mastery in it. Because they've not just learnt the information, seen the information, read the information, they've experienced it and they've had spiritual growth and understanding through, through adversity. You don't... <clears throat> um, I don't want to say you don't get it because you do get it and I don't want this to be taken the wrong way at all because I teach, I run workshops, we all do work and collaborate and do work and people evolve. Yes, you do. You learn, you grow, you have spiritual experiences, you heal. But sitting there in your own mind, in your own belief system, in your own comfort zone, trying to get alignment and see and have spiritual awakening, growth and wisdom is really not how it works. Now, if you take what I just said, <clears throat> share it, working, working with others, others working on you, changing your beliefs, other perspectives, other working on your deep emotional programming, unprogramming, all of that work, then through life experience, adversity, and putting yourself facing truth and dealing with truth and being able to, no matter what the outcome or how you look, or having an experience, um, let's say I dropped you in the middle of the, you see those shows, TV shows alone and um, in the, on an island having to survive, you know, the, the true blue ones or, <clears throat> man, they go through some spiritual growth. And I'm not saying you have to do that. I'm just saying I'm using it as an example. Mm -hmm. But anywhere there's illusion, emotion about your security, stability, foundation, trust me, spirit's bringing it in for you. I think I've, um, yeah, you can't see, it's, it's look at all this as self-imposed imprisonment. So maybe connect, maybe ground, maybe get out of this lower vibrational toxic energy or anything that surrounds you with that, eliminate it, go and sit in nature, get your feet on the ground get in and connect with nature and get that intuition clear and clear your energy if any of you have or with a toxic energy and are building a foundation there or connected i i i, I don't think there's going to be a good outcome uh, what's the outcome if you need to know king of pentacles collaboration king of cups and emperor this is very final, clear decision making, and it is in emotion and spiritual and intuition and spiritual path being made. So again, they're answering it again. Any conflict that anybody's trying to manifest, yet yeah, the higher up are going to step in now and re make you or the person or everyone involved reevaluate. Yep. Yeah. It's again, we've had the king and queen of wands out here, see, facing adversity, standing up for yourself. One thing the queen of wands does is stands up for herself. And the king of wands, they're ready for battle. They're ready to do it. They're ready to take the journey, take the adventure. See, beautiful energy, beautiful, strong energy, but do it in a grounding, like I know who I am. So the king of queen of wands really do know who they are because they go out on a battlefield in, in <clears throat> the old days. You can imagine the king of queen of wands were like leading people through battle or journeys or venture or um, seeking beyond horizons. So <clears throat> they had an air of confidence. 
about them in that not in them but like they knew who they were they knew they knew their levels they knew their strengths they knew their weaknesses and they were confident in that and that's why they they are the warriors because they're aware of themselves deeply to go to war to go to battle to seek beyond ventures and horizons that have un, uncharted unexplored you have to know your strengths and weaknesses and you only learn those through experience life experience <clears throat> If someone comes to me, I can go, oh, this is my trigger, this is my trigger, this, this is my weakness, this is my weakness, this is my this is my kryptonite, this is my deal breaker, this is my... I, I can list them have done that much work. These are my strengths. These are not so much. <laughs> and that's where you're going to get the reset energy. This is where you're going to get it. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there. Let's start work, guys. Um, enjoy your solstice energy. Nurture, nurture, nurture yourself and heal. I hope that helped and I hope that answered some questions for you. Okay, take care. Bye. Oh, we've got the justice card. Contracts coming in. That wraps it up. See ya. Bye.